get ourselves a level up on this to get Thunder Punch. Oh man, but I, mm, I threw, I think, because I'm not Mint Berry on the Ledian, so it doesn't even beat the Noctowl. So maybe I should have gotten poisoned with it. Ah, who fucking knows, man. Oh my god, yes! Poison me, Daddy Mantine! Yeah, okay, no need to put ourselves through this torture. That was the worst Faulkner team I've ever had in my life. Patch for no Butterfree Headbutt. Pogers. Nah, man, Toto style, Toto, Toto start into Chico catch is just better, man. Like, oh, the rival having Meganium is so much better. Ugh. Our headbutt encounter is going to be broken again on this. What's an egg lock? It's like a chastity cage for your balls. When will the egg lock start tomorrow in European summertime? Oh, man. You're asked, you're basically asking me when are you gonna get up tomorrow? So I I'm I'm unable to answer this question for you, I'm sorry. Nickname theme is your IP address. Oh yeah, we haven't done rhymes in a while, but this one is so fing bad with chat. Chat's like unable to understand what rhymes are, and also unable to And at the, at the same time, like for the same reason comes up with the stupidest rhymes. And then at the same time, we'll crucially, like, criticize every single rhyme for not being 100%. It's, it's really bad. It's going to make me go insane. I don't want to do this nickname theme. Sure, let's do Minecraft blocks. Ooh, guys, Pokemon challenge is here. Probably the best Nuzlocke in the world. Meow. Um, what Minecraft block is the rival? We'll name him Hero Brian. That's not gonna fit. So he will be known as Hero Bree. Alright, time to wipe to and execute. That's fine. We take those, boys. We take those. I think one thing you guys don't understand about nicknames is like sometimes a nickname loosely fits, but it would really perfectly fit a different Pokemon. And you kind of want to save it for that one instead, you know? Chikorita time? Let's f***ing go, boys! Let's f***ing go! I don't think Birch Sapling is going to fit, but it is kind of perfect. I might just call it Birch. Oh, Birch Log. Just like the EK Professor. Is that an EK reference? Holy f***! Sh Holy fucking sh is that an EK reference? No fucking shot, boys. Oops, I guess this is my encounter. No remoraid this run, boys. It's okay, I like finding more creative. Um... Oh, that also means no guaranteed dugong, though. Ooh, where else can I fish for Remoraid, actually? I guess 31. Which means I would be missing a headbutt encounter. Which I do not like. I can fish on 32, right? Uh, fishing on 32 is Karabi. Yeah, pretty much the only other option is fish on... ...31. 31. Which means I lose one headbutt encounter. Yeah, it's whatever. Guess we're just accepting that we're not getting a pine code this run. That's a dumb mistake. I was supposed to delay there to fish for Remoraid later to have a pincer counter. If it's the entire encounter routing up. Um Because it means I don't have guaranteed Dugong, which, like, Dugong can be a Crobat counter, it can be a Dragonair counter, like... It's probably not good, huh? Although, I guess... Nah, I'll just... I'll just probably fish on 31, then. I mean, like, I'm happy I got it, although this is also a Meganium run, so it doesn't really matter. 
I don't know, it could be better. Like, there's probably, like, the Dragonair isn't, like, a problem. Hmm. Am I coping right now? Yeah, I'm probably coping right now. Let's not get a headbutt encounter. How encounter dependent is early game? Not that encounter dependent, I think. I think the main discrepancy is do you get a fortress or not, but even that is like. It's terrible. Terrible, terrible. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, chat, if you're here for my in incredibly coherent, insightful, and entertaining commentary, today's not the day, boys. I'm very fing tired right now. Or it sounds like my prostate issue is I always so drip when I'm stoned. You know, you didn't have to post that, right? Like, it was not required of you whatsoever to say that. The world, in fact, I think would have been a better place had you not typed that in my chat. Hi, Mr. Pokemon Man. Hello. That is, in fact, my name. Heracross. Close. Uh, yeah, what's Spiro? What's Spiro's, uh, what's, what's, uh, what's, uh, what's, uh, what's Spiro's, uh, what's, uh, what's, uh, what's, uh, what's, what's up, guys? How's it going? Sure, let's go with Fence Gate. Why the f not? One sub is five minutes. Why is the timer adding four minutes for each sub? Because it's bugged. And I'm too lazy to fix it. Well, or too incompetent. Take your pick. Gift subs just add less. That's just how it is. Oh my fucking god! Is that a Pokemon that's actually good for Faulkner? I can't fucking believe it, chat. I actually cannot believe- I am in disbelief right now. At the fact that I got a Pokemon that is actually fucking good in this game. That's so fucking crazy, bro. Holy sh man. That's unbelievable. That's actually so insane. I didn't know these Pokemon existed. Mythical creatures, really. Rarer than a shiny. I didn't think I was gonna do it, chat. I thought I was gonna go to my grave, having never found a Maripa for Faulkner again. But now it actually happened. Ah, and I, and I immediately get the fucking Kabuto thrust into my face. Nice, dude. Fucking nice. So good, man. I'm so excited, dude. You guys excited to wipe Faulkner? It's kind of bad for Faulkner. Yeah, it's worse than Ammonite. It means the Gligar just dices you up. <laughs> Meryl can sort of do it. Um, oh yeah, I believe it. Uh, hello? Encounters, maybe? No, no encounters. Let's f***ing go chat my third grass type. I mean, it's because I misrouted my encounters, to be fair, but... Still pretty lovely. You guys ever think about the existential horror of the Minecraft Iron Farm? Like, the way it works, right, for those that don't know, is basically... You get, like, so you want iron, right? And, um, to get infinite iron, what you can do is villagers, when they're, like, around, they will sometimes spawn, like, iron golems, then you can drop those in lava, and the iron golem dies, you get iron. The way that you do this, though, is you have to scare the villagers, right? 
And for it to work, they also need like a, a workstation, like a bed. So you put them in a one by one square, one meter by one meter square. It has a bed on one side, it has a workstation on the other side, and then it has like a minecart with like a zombie going through, continually scaring them to death. So basically the life of these villagers is just to live in a one meter by one meter square, sleep, work, and be scared shitlessly all day. And that is the only thing that they're allowed to do for the rest of their existence. Everyday life of the average middle-class American citizen. True. This is the run. It looks okay. I'm, I fucked up the routing, but... It's actually not super bad. Messing up the routing made up the, by the fact that you got him a reap? Um, well, no. <laughs> The routing mess up had nothing to do with me getting a Mareep. It's. And the routing mess up also didn't. Like, if I had done the routing correctly, my Faulkner wouldn't be any better. But messing up the routing messes up, like, my entire mid game. Because it lowers my chances substantially of getting a Fortress. That's kind of like the point. Ah, uh, yes, the Hop Hip Sleep Powder. Literally never seen this use this move before, I swear to god. Oh, into the switch. Interesting. We're really switching it up today, huh? It's okay, this is the three grass type run, guys. Which means we can play our grass types more risk riskily, which gives us exactly nothing. Because none of the dangerous fights involve grass types, but... You know... It does mean we get to delay our... Uh, Weep and Bell Evolution until it's actually a f***ing useful Pokemon, so... It really is... It really is giving, to be honest. We're fine because we have Mareeb. Well, my point kind of was that, like... Jesus! Christ, I guess, okay, one grass type less, huh? Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh... I also could just wing attack twice, huh? Yeah, that's probably the play. Abra actually have more than just teleport in this round. Like, yeah, it's got Thunder Punch and an Ice Punch, my dude. Wrecks my sh regularly. On the reg, as they say. Have you watched Lenificate back in 2015, 2014? Who? This is a Ligma joke. This is guaranteed 100% a Ligma joke. German YouTuber? I don't think I've ever watched a German YouTuber ever in my life. Please don't call me a German YouTuber. <clears throat> it's extremely offensive to me. How is that offensive? Uh, my favorite libertarian proverb. What do I usually do here, Kabuto? I have a normal tap, right? So, like, I think my Faulkner looks pretty okay. I think. I have, like, like the normal type kind of ties everything together. I can use Croc for the Gligar. I can do the Pidgeotto with um yeah i think i actually i think i actually have a very decent faulkner here now that i think about it. as long as you have a normal type and a mareep you're kind of fine holy f really much thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs
I know this isn't vintage white, but are the enemies EV trained? If they are, what is the best way to EV train there? Um, vintage white has no EVs. Not for your opponents and not for you. You could you could spend hours EV training in that game, you wouldn't gain a single EV. Water block is water source block or a stream block? Uh, definitely a, a, a Chad source block. Dude, the Chad source block versus the virgin stream block. <laughs> I wish I could block your stream PC, am I right? Do doors count as blocks? Sure, it's just any anything you can hold in your inventory, okay? Like, this run is a really unnecessary stupid death, but like, other than that, honestly? Honestly, chat? Honestly? It's kind of bussin'. here should be completely fine. Wait, who just overleveled? Hoot hoot? That's fine. Nobody cares. Dude, Larvitar is actually so omega useless, it's really embarrassing. To all of us. And I feel like even as Poopitar, it's probably okay. Uh... It's just on this plane, it's so bad. <laughs> Which is fine. It's allowed to be. That's allowed. There's too many ways to guarantee late game, larvae to late game for it to be considered good as a dark caving. Oh no, yeah, for sure. I mean, I was thinking the same thing. Like. So like, I'm a little dead to crit. Do I want to play around it? Sure. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have, huh? Oh, it'll be fine. The XP is going to be completely fine. There's no way Croc can all over levels here, man. There's just no fucking way. Hold on, we'll split it properly. We'll do this into this. Ah, nice. I got fucked in the ass. So true, bestie. Oh my god, I fucked him back. Absolutely wrecked. Shrecked, you might say, even. Ended up playing to a crit anyway. <clears throat> That's fine. Nice crit. Zubat first, huh? I'll play into it. Do I play into the sludge crit here? I don't think I have to. I don't think I have to.
Like, I can go to this on the Giga Drain. And just hit for massive damage with Swift. And dodge a Hypnosis. Hit for more massive damage with Swift. Mint Berry. Hit for even more massive damage with Swift. Boom. Farfetched. Go to Kabuto. Boom. Tank the Scratch. Rock Throw on the Karate Chop. Easy doesn't kill. Dead to Karate Chop crit. Uh, um, the, the... Uh, go to this. Easily tank a pack, tackle, boom. That's how we do. That chat is how we can do. Okay, so we're just leading with this so it gets the level up. And because it's a free switch because of Nightshade. Never worried. I've never been worried in my goddamn life, chat. Dude, I'm in the middle of carrying a fucking Crystal Kaizo Plus run, about to close it out with a sick ass Faulkner fight. My brawless wife brings me a vegan chicken nugget salad. <clears throat> with vegan kebab skewers? And I get a double kill on Faulkner. How's your day going? Not asked for you. <laughs> Wait, I just get f by the Mantine? Oh my god. <sighs> Really, my dude? No confu- No confuse rays, no toxics, just straight powder snow to powder snow crit, bro. Oh my god. I think I live another one, right? He did 34 with technically three powder snows. Pretty sure I can just do this. Easy. Okay, now if I hit myself, any powder snows, I die. But there's no real playing around it. Um, I can probably just switch to Mareep, I guess. It's not exactly great. There's chance for Toxic. The problem with this team is my knockdown options are really limited. Which means that um, fluffy HP is really valuable. Which means if I go into this now and then he fucking confuse raise me and some sh um, it gets really complicated. But I have to switch. It's not like I have snap out chance there. Unlucky. This might kill. Not 
nice. It's pretty okay. Means we can't get sleep at least. And like this killing Manti means this is rock throw from Gligar, which is the best possible switch for Karkana. Pretty good. Dude, this is such a fing fun fight, man. This is seriously super good. Unless that happens. Um... I kinda have to know the damage range is known. Um, yeah, there's only th three, four rolls that don't kill. I have to go to Kabuto. Still kinda winnable though. Kinda. Of. Speed drop kinda huge here. Fine. Man. <gasps> nice. Pretty sure I would speed. I could switch. Pretty sure this is just Togetic. Which I'm kind of forced to go Bayleaf on at this point. Yeah, just send it. Oh, actually slower still. Okay. In that case, Croc switch was like definitely the play. Okay. I need this at high HP. I'm gonna go to this and hope that I can heal up. Play it from there. Dude, these vegan nuggets are insane. Unironically, for like store bought nuggets, these are better than any actual chicken ones that I've had. Which brand? I have no idea. I haven't seen a grocery store in three weeks, my dude. Hey, got rolling kick last fight. Would you look at that? Vegan burgers is so much better than normal burgers? Oh, I disagree with that a lot. But I think for chicken, it's nice. It's pretty easy. Okay, so I'm thinking here. There's a lot of ways I can kill this with. I would argue the least valuable HP is currently on Larvitar. But I probably will end up killing this with... Mm. Yeah, no, I will end up killing this with Fluffy. Oh, uh, no, because Pidgeotto comes out first, right? And then it's Noctowl. So I don't want to kill this with Fluffy. I want to kill this with Kabuto, I think. Okay. Let's stay in. And kill this when it's in Kabuto range. This might actually be enough. I think I gotta attack one more turn. Oh, but would tackle poison get it into berry range? Probably the turn after when I switch, right? Let's switch now. I think the range is okay. I think that gives me a decent chance to kill. Wait, bro, come on! Fine. Dude. What is this bullshit? Oh my god. 
god. He's trolling me. Dude, how did I get outplayed so hard by Metronome? What is this man? Unreal, dude. I should have killed with Fluffy. It was way better. I think. Well, hindsight, I guess. I don't know. He could have rolled a bunch of. Sh they could have Fluffy too. Oh, this is really awkward now. He sees a kill with Razor Wind. He sees a kill with Steel Wing. He does not see a kill with Wing Attack. Um. Let's go to this. Because I have to. Only eight ground moves in the metronome pool. I mean, a bunch of sh** can happen there too, right? But... I don't know, but then like... Flavio takes a bunch of poison damage before it can get, I don't know. I, I think, like, the chance for Kabuto not to get ultra f there was pretty decent. Like, I, most of the time he only takes one metronome. This is using Razor Wind, so... I'm gonna switch to this. Nice, dude. Well skilled. I have to go back to Fluffy, right? Spark kill from here? Probably. Oh boy. Okay, so that is not knocked out range. But it obviously is after taking poison damage. So... I'm not really even sure what the angle is here. Okay, I think the play that I see is... Um... Switch this in on the Nightshade, beta quick attack, go to Larvitar and hope for Hypnosis, because I have Mint Berry. That is pretty much the only path that I see. Unlucky. Um, this is faster than Fluffy, right? Okay. I think I still see a way out. Okay, I no longer see a way out. That's obviously that's the one that he uses hypnosis on, like kind of amazing. Maybe I fucked up with the Kabuto switch. Fluffy takes poison damage even after sack, right? If not, I think I might have it. Who can I sack? I guess Larvitar. Yeah. I don't remember if the Fluffy takes poison damage here or not. I think it does, right? It would in Gen 3, but not here. Okay. Oh, 
Unlucky. Um. Oh wait, this is dead night shit, right? Oh, I actually had a kill with um. No, it's got it's got berry. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, there's no actually no win condition. I need quick attack crit. Ah, he has quick attack, it doesn't matter. Okay. Isn't this gym kind of too hard? You... no. If... If the goal was to make it similar to Roxanne and Emerald Kaizo, then no. It's... It's a really skill-based fight. Super, super skill-based fight. Metronome Kek W skill-based, but like, unironically. Most of the times that I died here, it was because I could have played better. Okie uh, doki loki, as they say, actually. Six attack, 13 defense, 14 special, and two speed. I can just never get, like, a decent Toto, man. Like, the fact that this two-speed Toto is what I have to actually call decent. Pretty fucking telling. Reset for DVs. No, what a f it's fucking stupid. In that case, let's just reset for everything. Just ask the speedrun community for resetting for... Per Wasn't someone doing that? I think some people were doing that in EK. Where they were like doing the speedrun tactic for resetting for the perfect Trico. RNG manipping, aka like they hacked it in. Which like if that's if that's their mojo, more power to them. I just think it's I, I sometimes just think it's stupid when people come up from like weird justification as to why they have to play the way they play. Just like be like, okay, yeah, I just want to play with a good Trico. <laughs> Doesn't have to be that complicated. Like when we were running fucking spreadsheet calculations on if the casino and Emerald um, actually made money to find out if money is actually infinite in Emerald or not, to find out if we were allowed to have infinite casino TMs <laughs> instead of just fucking giving us infinite casino TMs. Oh man, it was a different time. That was before the candy meta, okay. Oh yeah, Gamba back then for fucking Evolve Gyarados within like 45 minutes of grinding or some sh Oh my god. What a nightmare. Getting rare candies of Watson because that's what daycare is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt so bad for Small then, man. I was watching his stream a couple of weeks ago. And he was doing like the Heart Gold Soul Silver Damage List Challenge or whatever. And he was also just, like, buying rare candies at a mart. Because, obviously, he doesn't want to fucking grind. Who wants to fucking grind? Um... And just, like, every fucking time, his chat was, like, filled with, like, five people asking why he had so many rare candies. Holy sh... I'm so glad that my community doesn't do that sh that much. You guys still do it sometimes, when there's, like, new people, but it's so rare. Dude, I think my editor posted the fucking Crystal Kaizo VOD to the wrong channel. <laughs> I don't even know where they are. Like, are they asleep or... I unlisted it. I don't know what's happening. Haven't had that in a while. Watch this run be zero grass types. Bayleaf's more important for Croconaut. I'm not gonna start Bayleaf, bro. It's not- it's not about Faulkner. It doesn't matter. There's tons of shit that beats Faulkner. Like, Bayleaf is mid at best on that fight. Like, Croconaut can 1v1 the Murkrow, Croconaut can, one v one, can like 1v1 the Gligar. Croconaut can do shit on, like, Knocked Out. Bayleaf gets, like, a Poison Powder off and then, like, hopes. I have never had this before. That's super interesting. Okay. I'm down. 
I'm down to tango. I'm down to dango. Um, I mean, like, I, I don't want to be that guy, but I don't really see it. Like, starting on literally the next split, isn't Graveler just better? Or, like, isn't Geodude, like, pretty much always better? I mean... Yeah, I don't know, man. I think... I think... Geodude is just better. Geodude doesn't actually do much on this split. It's like a pivot for Faulkner, basically. Rhyhorn can do that just as well, like... It does a little bit more damage to Pidgeotto, I guess. And then afterwards, it's just worse, right? You think take... I think you take Golem over Rhydon every day? Oh, man. Gen 1 OU players would like to have a word with you. That is an age-old discussion. Isn't Golem NU now? Yeah. Times have changed, man. Unlucky man. With Cool Lava, this might be an actual um, Faulkner team. Evolve is just text based Minecraft. Sure, buddy. I don't know. I play Minecraft like I play Evolve. I just want to like build resource generation things to get me more resources to build more resource generation things. There's probably some cool mods for Minecraft that I can check out for that. I should probably just play Factorio, man. But I know exactly that if I start playing that game, it's going to consume my life. Am I still going for Apom? Apom is just like for early game, but like, I don't know. All the encounters are so mid in Sprout Tower. If I could headbutt here, I think I would. I guess I don't have a grass type. There's no Oddish encounter, right? I could go for Daytime 3F and go for Pikachu or Bellsprout. What is my Faulkner team looking like? I have an Omanyte this time, which is good. Okay, so I, I think this team isn't really beating Faulkner. Let's roll Route 31 Grass. I guess you could argue... I don't know, man. It's not like... I don't know, man. Like, Pikachu doesn't even beat Noctowl. I think rolling for Sprout Tower Pikachu is so cap. I think you just need to like hope for like Mintberry Omni to pop off. I think this team can beat Faulkner. I actually think this team can beat Faulkner. Especially if I also get Apom. I just use what I have on my team right now. Minus Slugma plus Beedrill. Have that for the Mantine. I guess Togetic wrecks me, huh? I think the best thing to do is probably just always roll for Apom and Sprout Tower. And if I get it, I can headbutt here. Apom might be like actually the best Faulkner mon. But not because it's like it does one thing really well. Well, Omni is obviously the best Faulkner mon. But it's not because it does one thing really well, but because Apom is so versatile. It can be a Noctowl counter, it can be a Murkrow counter, it can be a Togetic counter. It can be a Pidgeotto counter, man. Like it's um it can be a Mantine counter. Like it can counter one to two mons 
in every Faulkner fight, and you can just like it, it doesn't matter which one. Like it's so versatile. So yeah, I'm gonna roll for it here because that enables me to headbutt on 31. Well, the thing is, it does more damage than Togedix than almost anything else. Because there's, like, not a lot of late-game payoff for going for any other encounter in Sprout Tower. And the 30% is also for Vulpix, and I think Vulpix is actually my favorite fire type in this game now. Which doesn't mean a lot. You can also get Meryl, I guess, which is... Dog I don't know why I mentioned that. Yeah, let's, let's get Daytime Sprout Tower and then look from there, huh? Nice. Okay, so we had but on 31 now. Houndoom is probably better. Almost certainly. But Houndoom is really rare. I think it's a 1% and a 5 and a 5% on like two routes that you want to headbutt on. You're probably not getting it. It's a 10% on 35. I think I headbutted on that route last time. But 10% isn't actually bad. That's like 35 nighttime, right? I 35 nighttime isn't even bad. Speaking of headbutting. I'll take it. Oh, it's on 36. I see. Yeah, but then you have to get nighttime 36. Which isn't that terrible. Nighttime 36 is actually pretty okay. I don't know why I've been getting daytime 36. I think I should change the meta here, actually. Yeah, I should switch to doing nighttime 36. Yeah, I think I think my original logic was I wanted to do daytime 36 because I wanted to use Growlithe, but like Growlithe isn't even that good. Yeah, I think we'll start doing nighttime 36. Because Vulpix chance is okay. It still has, has a Growlithe chance. It doesn't have the Slugma chance, which is fine. Um, no Ponyta chance, which is fine, and then it has Houndor chance, and it has Wooper over Psyduck, which is just strictly way better. And Nidorans over Poliwagger Oddish, which is probably also better. Alright boys, I'm gonna keep it a stack and a half. My brain is completely f***ing fried from... 17 hours of Pokemon Crystal Kaizo. I'm gonna f***ing go to bed.